Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about stress in English language. Stress is very, very important in English language. If you're going in for jam, stress is one of the sections that will be coming out in the questions that you're supposed to answer. So what is stress? How do you determine the syllables? Where the stress is placed on in a word? For you to understand stress very well, first of all, you need to know about syllable. We need to discuss syllable. What is syllable? When you pronounce an English word, the sound or the pronunciation that is done in a go, we we'll call it syllable. Let's say you say man. Man has one syllable. When you have a word like a fort, a, one syllable, fort, second syllable. So very, very importantly, you need to know how these pronunciations are done. So syllable is what you have when you have a word. The part of the word that you can pronounce in a one single heartbeat or in a one single go is a syllable. So we're going to do uh, demonstrate this with an example. Now, stress cannot be described without first expl explaining syllable. Now, what is a syllable? A syllable is a part of a word that can be produced or pronounced at one heartbeat. In every syllable, there must be a vowel sound. Very, very important. In every syllable, there must be a vowel sound. Now, let's take a look at this to know what a syllable is. If you want to pronounce this word, man, at one go, man, girl, or girl, boy, good, they are monosyllabic. So, you pronounce them at one heartbeat. Now, this one, effort, you have to, you can draw a line through here. This is effort, two syllables. Man, day, English. You see, all these ones are bisyllabic, or you can say bisyllable. These ones are monosyllable because you just say man, girl, boy, good, by syllable and fault man day English. Now you come to this one, you have re co ver three syllables re co ver beautiful 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 three syllables personal or personal three syllables. So, if a word is not monosyllabic or bisyllabic, once it's from three upwards, you say that it is polysyllabic or polysyllable. So, I believe now you understand what syllable is. So, having understood what syllable is, that's where you can easily understand what stress is now. Now, when you, make, when you pronounce this word, effort, which one do you pronounce louder than the other? The one you pronounce louder than the other in these two, um, these two parts of this word. Is it the A that is louder or the fourth? The one that is louder is where the stress is on. So that's why I say when one syllable is pronounced louder than the other, we say it is the stressed syllable. So in damp English language or wack English language where you have syllable, as questions your duty as a student is to pick out the syllable with the stress so in subsequent lessons and classes I'll be teaching you how to pick out the the, the syllable with the stress so that you can get the right answer so in subsequent classes I'll be giving you the method you use in identifying to know whether it is this first syllable mon or d that the stress word is and let's say we have this Monday, we are going to have something like this. Mon, if the second syllable is where the stress is, it's, it's going to be written in capital letter. So you have something like this. Monday, if it is in the first syllable, we now have it like this. Mon, day. So how you know the stress word is the one with the capital letter. So, but for you to pick out whether this is the right way to stress this word or this. That is what I'll be teaching you in uh, subsequent classes, how to pick out the syllable with the stress. So in subsequent classes, we're going to be looking at this. And by the time we're done with these lessons in stress, 
you should be able to pick out the right stress uh, syllable in a word in your jam exams and in your WAIC exams. Thank you and God bless you. Please hit the subscribe button. Support our channel in any way that you can. Thank you and God bless you. See you next time.